Hello and welcome back to Ice and Fire Season 2, Episode, I believe, 14, where in this episode we're going to be doing some dangerous stuff, but also some uh, quick home fixing things. One is I want to make a new farm for this stuff because I want to dedicate to only, uh, I think, two specific plants and also we'll be using some nether ward, not to make potions, but to make this final flame right here, or the final flower that we need in our Botania setup over there, so I don't have to manually fuel it anymore. Now, before we do any of that, I do want to say thank you to those of you who did research in the last episode um, and put it down in the comments. I really appreciate it. And apparently hunting deals damage to like hunting moths, if I remember correctly, like sheep or something like that. All right, so I actually have the research that Luke did. Um, one, the colored runes, right? These runes right here, apparently they only, they are only thing they do is change the, um, the color of an enchantment, which is fine. I like that idea, but that is unfortunately all they do. Um, the void floating enchantment, which I, right here, void floating three, well, what does it say, has two uses. The first is that it will float above Y0 while in item form, even if you die or fell into the void and die. The other is that it will reduce damage taken in the void. So that is really cool as well. But what also what he said is hunting does more damage against animals. So that is really cool. But I want to grindstone this thing. I have 30 levels. I might as well use them. Hopefully get something better. I want power if if at all possible. Um, <laughs> because that is what will really help me against the dragon fight. So here we go. Yes, I'm playing three power four. That is exactly what I wanted on that right there. So now that that is done, I think we should really quickly fix this farming area. Um, I'm thinking potentially more dirt here and then making some areas of which we can uh, just some plots. I love this and I might keep it for certain plants. But first we need to let's get rid of all the stuff that is here right now, actually. Because we have corn, we have sweet potato. I only want the sweet potatoes because they're really good. And then I want this industrial herb stuff. I want more of it in case I need string for something. So I think that is what we will be keeping on here. And then make a plot right here. Mainly for the sweet potatoes. How does that sound? I think that's a plan. I need my hoe. And it's at this point in time that I really realized that I didn't have any more dirt. Meaning I have to go get some. BRB. All right, I now have dirt. Uh, actually, let's bring it back a little bit. I think that'll look a little bit better. I actually need more seeds. All right, let's put down the industrial industrial herb because that is something that I won't need a whole lot of, but when I do need it, it's going to be nice that it is there. And next up, yeah, let's just... Hmm. I don't think I have enough dirt to cover this whole thing, but... I can at least remove as much sand as I have dirt. So let me do that real quick. All right, so far so good. Next, I'm just gonna take a water bucket and I think plop it down right here. And then basically just go all the way around like this. Unfortunately, I didn't have more dirt on me. If I did, I could have gone, well, further inwards, but this is fine for now. I think this should do the trick. Uh, I'll place that there. All right, and put down the seeds. All right, that is all the sweet potato seeds that I have. Unfortunately, I don't have any more, but this should work just fine. These will grow up and then we can get even more seeds. All right, so now that the farm is done, I want to really quickly make the exo flame, which basically takes mana and powers furnaces. So we need these. These are easy. We need rune of summer. I don't actually remember. Do we have any of these runes? Oh, wait, sleeping time, sleeping time. I believe we might have one of the runes that we need. No, rune of air and rune of earth. Okay, so we need rune of fire and we need rune of summer. So for the rune of summer, that's easy. We need two sand, one slime ball, one melon slice, rune of earth and rune of air. So we can easily get that right here. And then two pieces of sand. Uh, 
Boom. Done. <laughs> uh, so one slime ball and one melon slice. The melon might be an issue, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, no. Am I not going to be able to make this? I'm not going to be able to make this, am I? I don't have any melons. Don't have any melons, and I do not have any melon seeds. Oh, that's so annoying. Why? <laughs> Why? All right, well, I'll keep my eyes out for melon then. Okay, I guess I can't do that today. Um, oh, I have more sweet potato seeds. Okay, I'll go plant those in a second. But we should still be able to make rune of fire. So nether brick, mana seal ingot, mana powder. Okay, I should be able to get all that. Give me a second. All right, I think I have everything. I just need to quickly make some mana ingot, mana powder. And I think that is everything for the rune of fire. We need to right click this stuff on here. This, another wart, gunpowder. Boom, just give it a moment. I wanna get snuck up by, by a creeper. And then I need living rock and my wand. Why don't I have my wand here? Do I have it in my backpack? Nope, of course I don't. Okay, one second. And, but, but, did I, I put a living rock on there. Maybe it doesn't last that long. And boom, rune of fire. All right, so that is half of it. Unfortunately, I can't make the rune of summer because apparently I need a melon slice uh, and I can't craft, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do I have beetroot seeds? Hold on. I might be able to do this, you know. Nope. No beetroot seeds. All right. That's that. So hopefully we'll be able to do this in the next episode. If I can find some melon seeds. But anyways, that is that. So we'll need to make this next time. Sorry about that. But anyways, now we get to do something dangerous that I'm... Looking forward to, but also not looking forward to. We're gonna leave these here. Basically, we need to go ahead and get some dragon bones. The only place to go and get that, of course, is back where there's dragons and the dangerous place. Um, right. I don't think there's anything really for me to prepare. I think we just need to go. I'm gonna go on foot. Um, do I need to bring a bed? I am gonna bring my... Mm, I want to bring another bed. And this is why it is nice to have industrial herb fiber because I can do stuff like this out of nowhere. There we go. Wait, there we go. I know how to make, I know how to make wool. There, bed. All right, I'm gonna bring that with me because I don't want to waste time waiting for daytime or for nighttime, sorry, to sleep. Um, I guess I can bring you. Do I have a lead? I do have a lead, all right. In that case, come on, Erex, we, you and me, are going on a very dangerous mission. My plan is not to fight a dragon today. That will be in the next episode. In the next episode, we will be hunting for dragons. Hopefully one that has some eggs, because I want my own dragon. Um, but anyway, we will continue on here to the place where there be dragons. I'll be right back once we get... What we, once we get to... Uh, the interesting place or something with there or something, I don't know, that, 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 proceed to cut. All right, here we are, the savannah. So hopefully we'll be able to find some dragon skeletons over here, and hopefully we won't get eaten alive. Now, of course, there's that possibility, but I'm going to, um, hope that that doesn't happen. I don't really have an escape plan other than go in the water and swim away. Um... And keep my eyes open for anything that might breathe fire and kill me. I literally just want to go in and out as fast as possible. Just getting some dragon bones. Not many. But I want at least one skeleton. Uh, this is dangerous because not only are there... Well... It's a little bit less dangerous here in the savannah because of the lightning dragons. They are sleeping. But there are still normal dragons here. 
Okay, there's a village over there. There's bound to be a dragon attacking that. So yeah, just because there's one of these doesn't mean that there necessarily only is a lightning dragon. There could be any... Oh, that's a skeleton, though. That's what we came here for. Oh. You scared me. <laughs> okay, um, that is pretty much the only skeleton I see. Okay. Moving in. I don't see a dragon up there. So it might be off to somewhere else. You know, just in case I do have to fight, I'm gonna bring out my bow here with my normal arrows. And I do, in fact, have some dragon bone arrows. So actually, you know what, forget the... Eh, I'm gonna keep the normal bow just in case. I might be able to take up a fight with this level two or three, but I don't know. All right, let's just get all the bones. How many is that? 31. Right, I think that's gonna be good enough. I'm getting out of here. Hopefully we'll get out in peace and quiet without getting attacked. Gonna go out the way I came in because that seemed fairly Safe. Uh, I don't like this suspense. It's quiet. Okay, so this is where I definitely came in. That's where the village is. And this is how I entered. Right. Yep, gonna leave that village be. <laughs> Head into this forest and I think... Don't scare me. Oh, actually, I'm gonna put in this stuff in my backpack. Don't think I'll need the normal bow. I think we're good. Gonna keep running back to my horse. <laughs> but I think we did it. I think we did it. We will be back here, by the way. In the next episode, we will be back here with a method I have to see if we are able to find any dragon uh, caves down there and potentially we'll be able to hopefully fight one and get an egg. So yeah, we will be back here in the next episode, but when we're more prepared. <laughs> Anything interesting down here? No? Okay, I'll meet you back at the horse. Be right back. All right, here's my little camp. Gonna take the bed with me, because we'll need that in next episode's expedition. All right, let's go. Let's go home and let's craft ourselves some, I think, mainly arrows. But maybe a dragon sword will be nice, because I'm hoping to be able to get some sort of dragon blood. So having that would be nice and maybe a few tools. I don't know. Depends on how good they are compared to my Thurium pickaxe here. But let me get back and uh, we'll take a look at stuff. I actually just thought of something. Maybe the villagers have beetroot back home in the desert village that is very close to our home. Maybe they have beetroot seeds or at least beetroot, which will then give us beetroot seeds, of course. If they have that, we might be able to wrap up that project as well because it's a little bit annoying that it is uh oh botanias wait where am i going uh wait i think i'm going this way it's a little bit annoying that our botania project is unfinished i would really love to get that exoflame done so when we return to botania we will have a bunch of mana waiting for us hopefully anyway so i might have to take a look at that yeah actually change course we're going past our home over to the desert village. I'll meet you there. All right, here we are at the village. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to find some beetroot seeds. If not, maybe someone is selling it. Um, right, gonna have a look around, primarily for these crops right here. Uh, wheat seeds, wheat seeds, all of this is beetroot. Yes, beetroot. Uh, Right, so how would I make beetroot seeds again? Right, I'm gonna bring this one back. We're gonna grow it so we can get more. And then we can actually make the exo flame after we have dealt with getting our dragon bone stuff sorted. So first dragon bone tools and such, then we will finish up with the exo flame. Maybe do some more preparation work and then we'll be ready for the next episode. Meet you back at base.
All right, first off, set the new spawn point, so if I die, I don't spawn all the way by the dragons. Um, and get the bone meal out, and I'm gonna have to interrupt your growth, unfortunately. Because... I'm just gonna keep using this bone meal to get a bunch more beetroots, and that should be enough. Right, back with you, and give you one growth. There we go. We now have 14 beetroot seeds. This should be good. Right, so what do we actually need to make this? Right, I, I forgot. Let's do the dragon bone stuff first. Okay, we have wither bones and we have wither bone shards. Put that over here. We'll do that after. All right, we have 31 dragon bones here. What do I really want with these? Obviously, I want the arrows. Um, ow! Wrong thing. Dragon bone. Do I want any of this stuff? I think I'm gonna stick with maybe getting the dragon bone flute because that will be relevant later on. A dragon bone sword and then use the rest on the arrows. I think that is gonna be that. Okay, so let's get this. Go to the crafty table. All right, get the flute. We'll need that later and get the sword. I'm not gonna use the sword. I'm not gonna even enchant it right now. Um. I'm just gonna keep it right there so we can turn the sword into one of these, whichever ones we get. Next is gonna be the dragon bone arrows. So I believe it's not just like this. It is. And we already have more than a stack. I don't know how many I actually want. That's the thing, I don't know how many I actually want. Um maybe one more. And then save some dragon bones and with the bones as well. So that is, let's get, I think, uh, there, that'll do. I'm happy with that. That is two stacks of dragon bone arrows. I'm gonna stick one, actually I'm gonna stick them all in here. Oh, I already had a bit in my backpack, whoops. And reserve these for when I get into a nasty dragon fight. I think that is going to be that. Okay. Um, do I have any spare armor? I have a new helmet. The helmet is fine. I really need some new leggings. What is this called again? Thurium. Is that something I can make? So Thurium leggings are made with Thurium ingots. The ingots are made using Thurium dust. Right. Now, how do you get the dust or the chunks? I don't know if there actually is a way of making this. I'm going to be honest with you. So how many diamonds do we have? We have 15. I could use some new boots. I don't think I have any spare boots. Do I have any spare boots? I do not. I could use some new boots. I do have a new helmet. The leggings are okay. I'm going to make some diamond boots. We can get more diamonds. I'm going to make some diamond boots. Eh? I forgot. I forgot. In order to make armor... Wait, is that better? No, it's just gilded. I need chainmail boots. To get chainmail boots, I need leather boots. Okay. This is one of the mods that I installed that I don't know if I am regretting or not. <laughs> so if we go ahead and make leather boots, then to make the diamond boots, we need the chainmail boots, which we make with... These two. Oh, just enough. Perfect. So here, like so. Chainmail. And then here, one more iron ingot. Do I not have any more iron? I wonder if I've been smelting. Hold on. I definitely have plenty of fine dust, so I'm gonna take all that and smelt it now. Into the blast furnaces you go. Give me just one ingot, please. Thank you. And I can now make diamond Boots. Boom. And I want to enchant these, but I do not have 30 level enchantment possibility. Uh, fire protection would be good, though. Hmm. I would need 30 levels in total. I'm just going to wear these for now, and then we can enchant them later, I think. It appears that I do need some form of XP farm very soon, because I do need to enchant a bunch of stuff. All right, I think we're pretty much ready. We have a weapon, not the best, 
But then again, we won't be meleeing this, the dragon. We will be mainly shooting at it. And we have a power four, unbreak it three, dragon bone bow, using dragon bone arrows. I think that is pretty good right there. I think that is as prepared as I'm gonna get for this fight. Um, yeah, <laughs> I think that's pretty much as prepared as I'm gonna get. Maybe I'm gonna make some potions. I don't know. I do not know, but I do know that I want to make this now. So we need the alchemy catalyst. And for that, we need not so much actually. This should be fairly easy. So two blaze rods. Actually, I'm gonna make three brewing stands. One for myself and two for the alchemy catalyst. So one, I'm gonna place that right there. So that's two. I then need two gold ingots. And then I need a mana pearl. Do we have any? I don't have any ender pearls. Oh no. Don't have any ender pearls. So that means I need to wait for night time. In order to hopefully get an enderman that has an ender pearl. Do I have one in here? No. But I do need four living rock in order to get this okay i'm gonna get an ender pearl and i'll be right back stay tuned um what's that i'm just looking for enderman and i see that excuse me oh it's coming for me what was that from oh there's multiple it is raining so that might be oh alex is about oh dear me hello Hello, you you do you do bad you bad bad. Okay then, desert's very dangerous in in rain. Okay, desert's not safe. <laughs> okay. I mean, I like the idea of that. I really like the idea of the desert's not being safe when it rains. I love that. Kinda. Okay, I actually have a trap that kills these guys. That makes them stuck and kills them. I'm not gonna complain. All right, finally have an ender pearl. Had to go to the end, cause not end, nether. No one was spawning here. Hopefully this will do the trick. No creepers about. No creepers about. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. See this. This is the. This is the issue right here. Because this thing is not getting fueled, we're not making any mana whatsoever. That's the issue right there. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a few pieces of coal. Hopefully that'll make enough mana so I can make this pearl thingy. There we go. Because these guys need to work to make mana, otherwise this is not going to work at all. So this is gonna make a charcoal. It's gonna put it down. It's gonna be taken and it's gonna be turned into mana. So I'm just gonna sit here, I guess, until um, until this is possible. Be right back again. All right, here we go. Boom, mana, pearl. Oh, where's my mouse? There we go. Mana, pearl, that's not a creeper. Okay, alchemy catalyst has been crafted. Now, how am I supposed to do this again? Right click. Right click. No. Wait, how am I supposed to do this? Hold on. Oh, mana infusion. Right, so I drop this in here. Wait. Drop you here. Drop you here. That's what it says. Oh, but it needs a certain... <gasps> no. Wait, where did... No, 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 no. Where did... Where did that go? I just made that. Huh? What? What just happened? It's not in my inventory anywhere. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Good. That had me scared. Okay, so apparently for this to work, 
I need to place the alchemy catalyst under the mana pool for that to work. Okay. You know what? I can deal with that. I can deal with that. I guess I just need to maybe set up a piston system here. But now we have a melon seed, meaning that I can grow that into melons. And with the melons, make the final thing that I want. Melon seed, put that diamond back. This is gonna be good. Right, the only issue is, of course, that when I place this and grow it, I can continue growing it until it has a melon. So I need to wait here until a melon grows. I'll be right back again. Finally! Eh, melon. That took way too long. That took way too long. Okay. I'm just gonna leave that. Uh, wait, where's my hoe? Okay, gotta replant this three of the sweet potato seeds. And then we're good to go. That took way too long. Ay, ay, ay. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not happy about that. I'm not happy about the time it took to do that. Where did I put my hoe? Uh, there it is. All right. Oh, so now you... Okay. <laughs> I mean, I won't complain. I will not complain. Okay, you know what? There, let's just get this over with. Done and over with. Okay. Uh, done with you. Done with you. Don't know why that's there. Done with you. Rune of Summer. I need slime... Wait, do I have slime ball? Oh no. <sighs> Please tell me this way I can make the slime ball. Uh... Oh! Easy! Easy! Do I have a cactus? Yes. Easy. Okay. <laughs> Saved. <laughs> so using... What's it called again? The... The, 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 the alchemy catalyst. And once again, we're out of mana. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There we go. All right. Give it a moment. We Actually, I need to make sure that... Um, one moment. All right. It has a little bit of mana inside it. Hopefully that's going to work. No, not quite. Okay. Looks like we need more mana than that. Maybe now? Please? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Wait, how much does it actually take? Hold on. How much does it take? Not a lot, so I'll be right back once I have this thing done. Ah, there we go. That, wait, no. Get in there. Slime ball. Okay. This has been a roller coaster of emotions, but it is fine because now we can actually make the thing. So, Rune of Summer. Melon Slice. All right, done. Slime ball, done. Then we need Rune of Earth and Rune of Air. Rune of Air. Rune of Earth, and then two pieces of sand. Doesn't have to be red sand, can be any sand. Okay, and then of course I will need you, and I will need one living rock as well. So, let's do this. Sand, sand, melon, slime, Rune of Earth, Rune of Air. Here we go, Rune of Summer. Once we have that, we'll then be able to make the Exo Flame. This, ah, uh, this is amazing, okay. Come on, come on. Oh, it's taking longer, this one. It's taking longer. Well, in that case, I can um, look for flowers because I do need some gray ones to make this. Gray and light gray. Uh, light gray. Like, what would give gray? Ah, there we go. This one. Perfect. Okay. Well, it's not done yet. It's all about the waiting game, this... <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the waiting game. How many do I need? Okay, two and then one of each. All right. That's good. Okay. I'll be right back when this thing is ready. I don't think I need to do anything. Oh, I know why. I know why. I know why. I know why. It is because we're not making any more mana. Gonna just do that for now. Hopefully that's gonna give enough to finish this thing. So soon we should... It should continue once we get more mana into the system here. All right, it is done. Put on the living rock. And rune of summer. I can even get the rune of air and rune of earth back. Okay, awesome. So we have one now. Get that away. So we need... Uh, we did make the rune of fire, right? Yes, we did. All right. Let's, um, let's make this flower, shall we? Water. All right. 
two red petals, one gray, one light gray, one rune of summer, one rune of fire, one seed, and we have the exo flame. Right, let's go down here now, put that up here, and I assume this of course have to be placed on dirt. Right, let me get a little bit of dirt here, and we should be ready to go. Alright, it should be as simple as simply... I think... I can put it here. As you can see, that instantly fired up the furnace, and it is in fact draining mana from this mana pool up here. So this is taking mana from the mana pool, powering the furnace, as we can see right here. And the furnace is of course then smelting the logs, turning it into charcoal, generating us mana. Just gonna throw that down there and let it despawn. Perfect. So hope... That's not gonna work. That is not gonna work. Let's get that out of range. Yeah. All right. Beautiful. So guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. I'm sorry it's a little bit long, probably around 30 minutes or something, I apologize. But now we are ready, so basically we're done with this. This can just be left alone until we come back to it when we feel like going back to Botania. We have a now a very good farm actually, I need to move the melon, I need to get some more dirt here and such. Maybe we'll do that in the next episode, harvest all that and get the food and such. But primarily, in the next episode, we are now ready. To fight a dragon so in the next episode we will going we will be going back to the savannah and i have a little bit of a trick uh to finding those underground dragon caves or whatever you want to call them and hopefully we'll even be able to fight one win the fight mainly win the fight easy enough to start a fight but question is if we can win it with the gear i have hopefully i'll get some levels as well so we can enchant the leggings and maybe we'll even get a dragon egg that is, if the dragon we fight is a female, if we find one. But guys, that's going to be it for this one. Really hope you have enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and goodbye.